Good morning. Oh, hello. It's the 25th of July, to check them, 2020. Um, around about my old usual time, actually. Just got half ten. Uh, apologies to Karen, I know she's still live on her channel. Um, but, you know, this can just be watched back. I just like to do it live. Um, and Karen's been on an hour, and I know she could probably do two or three. So I, I thought I'd better just get on and do it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've just been on Insta Live on Shelster H. Go follow me over there. Also, if you want to see... Well, if you're interested in buying any vintage jewellery in small lots um, or other bits and bobs, I'm posting on Shelster Rooney underscore jewellery. Go follow me on there as well. Um, morning, Rosie. Morning, Stephanie. Morning, Buying Space. Yeah, so, yeah, I've just gone live on there and showed Jewellery Mountain in the garage. And oh, I'm back. Brilliant. Just okay. just for the... Well, no, not just for this morning. I, I'm still going to do hauls on here because it's a lot easier to um, yeah. sit and do and see the chat. Um, but I'll be... God, it's roasting in here. This is quite... I've got this T-shirt. Sunshine, but it's quite thick. Um, yeah, it's hot. Can we have the door open? Can I have the door open? Yeah, we can open. Uh, I'm just going to have that cup. Yeah, how is everybody? Right, so, morning, Chris. Oh, Chris, your box is on the way. I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to do a bag of non-beads for you. Um, morning, Chloe. Oh, morning, lovely. Morning, Anna. Uh, morning, Karen. Morning, my beautiful Shelley. Just need to make a cuppa, and then you have my undivided attention. Lovely, Karen. Um, I feel like a fig in mud. Yeah, totally am. Um Morning, Selster. Morning, Mike. Um, Peter, that's a skipful. Yeah, it's pretty much a skipful. Um, hi, Pete. Veronica would like a bag of vintage. Um, okay. Oh, a bag of vintage. So, what? Uh, message me on Instagram, Veronica, and let me know what, because I'm doing like bespoke bundles and it's working really well. Apart from sometimes people say, oh, I just want a surprise or I just want a mix. I don't want photos, I just want a surprise. But I'm doing these bespoke bundles where people say, I want this. And then I can ask a couple more questions. So would you want this and this or this and this? Um, like the other day, uh, somebody wanted sparklies. And I'm like, right, so I sent some pictures like this sort of sparkly, like dainty or um, statement sparkly, and they're both, right, cool. Um, just so I, I can send out stuff you actually want. Yeah, so let me know, um, I prefer to do that, what you want in your vintage bag, Veronica, and what you want to spend. Um, I've been doing 40 or 50 pound uh, value bundles. Um, I'm on in Joan, listen to my doing your housework, good old Sarah. Ah, oh, this is a nice morning, Chickadee. Hi, Sue. Hi, Lex. Oh, if you just, are you, are you double, I'm going to say double diffing, but I don't mean that. Are you still live as also Lex on Karen's at the moment? Poor delivery drive. Mike, it was a, um, it's not all in one box. <laughs> it was a courier. Um, and something like, a nice guy actually from Birmingham, so I'm gonna chit chat with him. So it's all like in his 20 kilo boxes. And he had a fo table football in there and he said, that was really heavy. He's saying, well, it came from a mansion. So, ooh. Uh, um, ironing, morning Pam, morning Sam. Oh, you finished your live, okay, cool, Karen. Cause I was like, oh, I know you've done an hour, but I know sometimes you do two or more. So I, I'll just come on anyway. And, um, 573 pounds. I know, I remember thinking it's about, how many of me's? Five? Five of me or something. Anyway, I, I might not, so what time is it? Oh, it's just been on four minutes. I won't go over an hour because it just gets boring. Um, I've just picked this out of the Garagina. There you go. Looks like a lot of necklaces actually, so that's happy days because everyone wants necklaces. I have literally, a massive box of what's well, some really nice chunky wonky um wide bracelets actually which i will sell although this morning i have just sold 60 stretchies i think it's all stretchy bracelets for 20 quid delivered 
and a layering bundle. So I'm like, oh, that's good then. So maybe that's the way to sell them. On your way out sourcing, Sam, have a lovely time. Show us what you get later. Uh, evening, Dawn, Sherry, Paul. Mun and Lee. <laughs> Lex, I'd like to see each individual item, please. Um, hi, Kelly. All of the... <laughs> hi, Heather. Right, so let's just get a... Oh, my God, alive. Right. Let's stick that in the pot, shall we? Get it in there. It's like half of it. Can I separate it at all? I could be detangling all night. No, I don't have the time. So just start with that. So, right, this is immediately going into the broken. Oh, so is um this is quite useful actually. It's crystalline. So this it's a chain belt, but it's going to be missing uh, diamantes. Would this go in your in the Chris bag or would it go in the general broken jewelry bag, please? Because then I can learn what you want. Because I have two separate carrier bags well, that are heavy, well, broken, and I know you don't like beads. Oops, I think I might have just spotted some beads in your bag, which might have gone in the back. Didn't um tinternet bad wolf loads of people do what you're saying where do you get from tinternet get anything on tinternet now can't you oh that's rather lovely actually it feels it's heavy that's heavy and it's got a nice tea bar doodah um all the time oh i love look at that that's the best bit it's got a, like a fish skeleton so that's a nice little necklace for resale so that can just go in my general necklaces pot um word up well i've got a i quite like these hoops actually to be fair happy to have a broken bundle yes please chris harrison right i'll so i'll stick the diamantes in your because i know you want to mend necklaces did i ask you do you do you want single earrings in your bundle chris or is that for the other bag um belt bag yeah, sparkle belt's gone in. Okay, and do you like sparkles generally? This is quite good. I can just ask people questions, get the answers. How is everybody, by the way? Because um, the bay, what bay? Zero sales again yesterday. So I'm on about 1490 listings and I had another zero. That's two zero sale days this week. What, what? What have I done to you, eBay? Oh, I need, what I need is some skizzeroos so that I can, sometimes when you're sorting this amount of jewellery, if you cut these labels off, it does help. Oh, where's my bin bin? It's just going to have to be logged down there. So, oh, there we go, got another stretcher. Where's the other pop from? Right, I like this. I do like hoops. And... I like this sim the simplicity of this. That's like modernist. That's that's yeah, simple. Like go with anything that well. Oh, it's like QVC, right? I'm going to just stick that in the general stand up necklaces pot. In you go, little flower. Karen, all good here. They're me and the eBay are not friends. I don't know who eBay is friends with. Naughty, naughty, naughty eBay. Um, I see that the market is even down a couple of percent. Um, and I don't know if that's the market completely or the market, you know, on what I sell. Right, we have long beadies. Quite, um, oh, I like the, I don't know if you can see this actually. No. It, when you shine, it goes kind of purpley through the light, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, just put that in the general, general, general. My gen, the general nexus are all like, it's, uh, will sell with somewhere between 10 and 14 free shipping. And when somebody is going to ask me for general necklaces, it's all going to be that kind of thing. No, I'd say it could be. from eight pounds up I reckon resale and I've got like a I've got now a pot of 
uh, boho. Don't worry, Karen, all your boho is safe. Um, and then a pot of just general, so that if people say, oh, I went this, I went boho, I went sparkly, I can reach into the pot and get it quite easily and get it out quickly. Um, oh, look, eBay's your drunken buddy. Is that late night sales? Um, is the Lex back? Right, I think this is a... Is this a belt? Or is it? Well, no, it's got earrings hanging off of it. Oh, where's um, Chris? Did you answer me about... Um, do you love sparklies? Cool. And what about single earrings, Chris? Yeah, another zero. Another zero day. That's two in the last week. Oh, Mike, when I was trying to my first job was making costume for two years. Wow. Stephanie, I still need big brown beads. How big do you want? Because I did show those um, stretch out ones. Um, Apple Fever is getting friendlier. That's good news. Yeah, I haven't been invited to the managed payments. I thought I must be in it. <laughs> I couldn't remember, but uh, no, I don't think I am. I'm still getting paid through PayPal. Right, I think that's a that's a belt, isn't it? That'd be a belt. Is that a, like a boho-y Karen belt, I think? And there's a Karen belt. Right. Morning, Patricia. Heather, something definitely up with eBay if you've had two donut dates. Yeah, I honestly, it's it's not, you feel like it's just not normal. Um, I feel like maybe, because also normally I at least have a ton of watches I can send offers to, and I'm like, what, so in five hours I haven't even got an extra watch yet? That's really bizarre. You know, even if they're not buying, um, I'm like, so, you know, maybe it's visibility. That's not quite even. That messes with me. That needs to go around there, doesn't it? If it's meant to be mismatched, that's fine. But if you're not meant to mismatch, you need to be even. Uh, just a standard necklace, that, isn't it? Just a standard common or garden necklace. Right. Oh, I like in this. Oh, do you know what? I love beads. That go in my bead pot. I love beads, me. Uh, now, I like this as well. You know, I like this kind of multicoloured. Is it Rainer? No, but uh, it, there was like a couple of dots. So yes. Um, multicoloured beady stand-up necklace. Just cut your tag off. How much were they? They were asking two pound fifty for that. Should have put it on the beige, shouldn't they? Well, maybe not at the moment. All right. Put that in the stand-up necklace part. Uh, oh, this is lush. Look at the gold on that. I don't know if you can see it. Like gold lame. I love it. And it's got a little tea bar fastening. That's very nice. That can go in the big pot as well. Oh, lots of nice necklaces coming out so far. So I'll probably get one box that's just full of stretchy bracelets. But everyone wants a necklace. So, oh, here we go. This is working out quite well so far, isn't it? See? Bright statement, get in. Get in my car. Get in my, get in my what? Get in my car, yes. Yeah, uh, Nicole State would say, but I can say get in my, oh, should I say get in my box? Does that sound really? Get in my shopping Get in my rolly plastic, what oh. was it called? Oh. No, my pot. No, no, my pot. You know, you called it something the other day and said, I wonder what the big one's like. Medium. It's a medium. It's a medium, rolly, perspex pot. Get it's in my pot. Being cute. Still sounds weird. Uh, right, so. Oh. Sam, love that. Maybe I should do, right, this is just. Chris, did you answer me on earrings? There's an earring attached to that, but I know you wouldn't want the beads. Um, it's a shame. Some of these are lovely earrings, but just can't be um, hassled with pairing them. I will look out for the uh, clip-ons, because that's worth looking out for, but not these little earrings. 
pause for a minute. Get two boxes from Sophie's room. Um, oh, just opened up a job <laughs> job lot and got two malachite necklaces. So happy old lovely Lex. Um, oh, going to Paris Sun. See you later, Heather. Yes, please, all earrings are great. Oh, okay, I haven't been putting any in, and now you can have all earrings. That's good to know. Um, right, this is just a standard beady beady. Yeah, maybe it would be... I don't know, maybe I could even go live, and if people are after pots, and if you didn't mind, you could say that one, that one, and I could literally put them in your bag. Um, yeah, just a standard... Chunky bead there, standard necklace. Um, right, oh, there's a, I think there's a, there's a hair grip attached to that. Oh, nice, very nice um, bracelet, but I'll have to just put it in the huge bracelet pot and sell it on the 60 for 20 delivered. Right, hoops that can just go in. A broken lot. Um, right, this is. Now, I had somebody asking me for. Oh, no, I suppose this isn't Art Deco, it's more. I don't know what it is more. Art Nouveau or something? No, not quite. Anyway. Too fine to go. Not sparkly enough for the sparklies. Too fine to go in the stand up necklaces. Might just end up in the broken lot just because I don't know what to do with it. Um, I have I have stuff like that. I just end up putting it in and just right. I'd just be sort of by weight, and then hopefully the crafters can do something with it because it doesn't fit any of my categories. So I did sell like a layering lot this morning. Um, see that would go in a layering lot. Um, yep, yeah, layering lot. Morning, Kirsten. How's the shop today? Right. Mm. Long pearls. Fill. Glass. Fill. A bit gritty, actually. Um, yeah, sorry for anybody that is retching at seeing me put stuff in my gob, but it has to be done. Could be glass or real, investigate. Uh, oh, just a rope with all of its bits falling off. I've got some such nice pendants that have come off of other necklaces, broken necklaces, and I might, I've got some hoops as well, so I might make up some more hoop necklaces with like really, really lovely pendants. Now what's going on here? Glass, oh, and some other thing, right. Nice um, earring, I can go and Chris's bag um more glass but i'm just going to stick that in with the crafters because it's on a bit of wire i always assume that crafters like glass beads but i don't know for sure i'm learning all the time let's go in the general crafters bag there's nothing wrong with it it's just um why see this is a bit wiry as well but it's got quite a nice clasp hmm. what do we think will that sell individually Lots of glass. And what would you... Oh, God, I can hear up there. It's not festooned. It's clustered, isn't it? Would you, out of interest, would you sell this individually? Or would you stick it in the crafter's lot? Let me know down below. Or in the side. Um, Christine, I'd like a smaller brooch bundle. Yeah. Sparklies, if possible, about 10 or 15 in a lot. Um, sure. Uh, sparkly, yeah, I've got sparklies. I'll message you on and I'll write that down actually, otherwise I won't message you, I'll just forget. But write it down. Oh, stuff from Lex arrived and oh, baby, it's on my collection <laughs> on my desk. I love it. Just Benidorm. I mean, we we went to ben and there's the like checkered like tiles that you get there. We went to Benidorm growing up, and also my aunt used to live in Spain. She used to send me these postcards with the um, you know, the lace and that on the dresses. Oh, God. Takes me back, that does. Right, what am I writing? Oh, yeah, Christine. 
Oh, Christine, is this sparklies for whole sparkly? I'll message you, or is it for crafting? 10 or 15 sparklies. Brooches. There we go. Oh, have I missed something else? Veronica, I can't see where to message you on Instagram. If you go, if you click on Shelster Rooney underscore jewellery or Shelster H, if you click on my name, like, and it goes to about me or whatever, there should be a little box underneath that says message, message or contact there. Um, <laughs> um, Veronica, do I do I follow you? If not, later I'll I'll message you. Um, if you haven't got through to me, Veronica, are you Veronica Pawson on um, Insta? And then I'll message you anyway. Um, and a last bundle. Oh, bundle. Um, Chris selling its own. Oh, morning, Chris B. Oh, it's for your um, your crafting, Christine. Well, I won't do your. Uh, I'll sort you out some, you know, that would be a bit slightly cheaper than if it, you don't need them to be completely, you know, whole. Although I did just get, I just got rid of all the uh, vintage sparkly um, brooches to, that's on the way to you, Chris, um, in your bundle of stuff to mend. Um, so we've got one set on its own and one bundle. I'm going to stick it in your bundle, Chris, because we're not sure. And maybe you can do something with it. Um, no obligation, by the way. But if you want another one, I'm kind of tailoring it for you. But if not, it'll just get sold anyway. Uh, right, it's just... Um, oh, got that side. Coppery, or that side. Uh, boho, isn't it? Just, just, just a boho. Just maybe a cheaper boho one. What else have we got in there? Oh, I can see some pebbly things. Ooh. Right, I like this. You know I like this because I like a plastic pebble. What's that one got in? Oh, I thought I had something weird in it. Look at that. Um, yeah, that's just, see, I I don't know what other people like. That's why it's good to get do these just boat things and find out exactly, but that's a stand-up necklace for me. That's my bread and butter. I like that. Um, but I'll tell you the other really interesting thing for me in doing these bundles and doing them bespoke. People are asking for things I wouldn't have thought people wanted because it's not my taste. So I'm loving it, you know. That's just like, well, great, yeah, because I don't like this, didn't I? So, yeah, you definitely can have them right and putting that in the stand-ups. Oh, yeah, I like another bundle. Bollocks pulled wrong set of toy cards to post. Oh, Karen. Uh, right, this ribbon's dirty. What have you been up to, dirty ribbon? It's going to have to go in. So I'll put it in a crafting lot so that they can use the beads. There's something else hanging from it that looks vintage. Let's take you off of there, mate. Let's free you. There you go. Uh, oh, I dropped it now. Oh, there we go. Mm, it's, it's got a lobster class, but it's, well, it's retro then. It's very uh, 60s, isn't it? Uh, I'll just stick that in with the general beads for lotting up. Let's take this screwy bit off. I'll do that in a minute. Um, right, more pearls. Oh, broken vintage. Now, you don't like pearls, do you? So I'll just stick that in the general... Maybe I should do a broken vintage, actually. Um, how many Chris Christine's in? Mm. Oh, Bad Wolf says, Maud, not seen you for ages. Yeah, I don't know. Stand up now. 
if you're called Chris or Christine. Uh, broken, I think that's glass. And it's vintage, all broken vintage, but not that Chris would. Uh, it's just, just uh, that's uh, stretched. So beads for crafting. Right, this might be nice if I can get it out. This looks like a nice, might be a nice bit of boho here. There's something hanging on to it. Right, you. Yes, this is nice because it's multi-row. Just a bit of summer, summer boho, beach, festival surfer. Stick that in with the boho -y type stuff. Right, we've got a lovely red thing here. Just beads, but the red is gorgeous. Red's my favourite colour. Bit tangly up. So also, I've got over there like a pot of stuff. You know that you get some of the interesting stuff at the bottom of the boxes. So I've got a ton of like earrings, clip-ons, um, cufflinks, uh, broken brooches, all sorts to go through. Which I can just sit on the sofa in the evening and and uh, play with. Oh man, alive! Oh, here we go. That's two. So it's this red I really like. So they're both going to just go in a bead, bead, um, bead lot. There we go. So this red is just delicious. Oh, it's lovely. I mean, just, you see that? Oh, it's just all oh, yummy. Right, that just go in the general bead pot where I just do a whole load of them together. Chris broken vintage. Yeah, Chris, but you only do you only want broken brooches? Am I right in thinking you wouldn't want broken vintage beads? Or am I wrong? Because these are broken vintage beads and pearls. But I was thinking you might not want them because you're not into the beads. And she broken vintage is better. Yeah, I sold um sold a broken vintage bundle for quite good money the other day actually um i have just i've changed i can't remember what i i think you know i've been selling it about 250 a kilo the broken oh yeah i was just going into the beads and then i saw lex sell some for 750 a kilo and i thought maybe it's time to test my pricing a little little bit so i think i was gonna aim for five pound a kilo delivered does that sound fair? Because I still want it to go fairly quickly. Uh, right, glass. Oh, what does that say on the back? It looks like it says Maud on the back. Oh, Maid. Oh, my, is that Murano? Mel... Must be Murano made because it's glass, so that's nice. It's got that on the back. Um, has it got a dot? Is that dirty? Sometimes I look at things and I can't tell, and I look at it in a different light and I'm like, ugh, it's dirty. Uh, so I'll have to look at that in a different light and might put that on something else. Let's we definitely have different tastes. Yeah, which is the great thing, isn't it? I absolutely. Do I need empty jewellery boxes, Neil? I've got lots of little ones, which I was going to do a bundle, and then I realised when I'm posting delicates out, because obviously you get lots of, like, small boxes. Um, I've got a whole pot of them, and then I've started using them for posting delicates out. Um, not really wanting too many beads. Yeah, I thought so, Chris. Okay, cool. So undercut them. Well... No, I don't want to undercut. Uh, no, that's no, I don't want. I mean, I'd like more money for my bundles, but I don't want to undercut you. I just the reason I I never been able to sell the broken, so I used to sell them dirt cheap just for them to go, and I couldn't work out why I couldn't sell them because I see everyone else selling them. So I've been trying them dirt cheap so that they go, and then I saw obviously I was talking your shop, and I was like, mm, maybe I should be putting this price up a bit. Um, maybe you can advise me, Lex. I really don't know what to do, and obviously I don't want to 
charge people that um, like subscribers that are buying through Insta as much as eBay either. So um, yeah, I don't want to tamp the point. Message me and let me know what you think fair so that I don't tank the market for you as well, if you know what I mean. And I'll, and I'll try that because, you know, I, I'm aware that freaking frick. Right, I like this silver bead thing that's in here, if I can get it out. Right, I've only done half an hour, it's all right. right let's cut this tag, these tags off. I also have been following Hex Vintage. And I'm like, okay, so because maybe people want small, smaller bundles and stuff, or not even bundles, just like I want a brooch. So I'm going to, I put a few things on my Insta, Shastarini underscore jewelry this morning, and see if people would like, you know, just a couple of things, or three things, or one thing, um, and see if that's how people would like to buy. Um, if they don't want a bundle. Right, we're almost there. Now, if I can detach this, I'm going to put that in the stand-up necklaces pot. Yeah, so for instance, um, right, it's boho, but I think it looks a bit dirty, so I'm going to put it in the um, crafters so they can have the, the thing off the pendant bit. Um, oh, there we go. See, I know I've got such different taste. See it? Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Job done. On you go. Get in my pot. But I was doing. Um, oh, YouTube's there. Do you know if there's a test for gemstones? Um, oh, it's showing broken beads. Nice monochrome mud beads. Um, I only know about the, the gem testers that you can buy, and I haven't got one yet. Did you have somebody message me yesterday and say, have I got one? And I said, unfortunately not. And then they just said, you need to get one. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, I thought they were going to try and sell me one. It's really bizarre. Um, I've got to spell on the crafters for them to take the glass beads out. Um... What be going on here? I think this might be broken. Uh, yeah, let's just let me go in the crafters. Oh, that would have been a matching, right? Just single earrings. Matching earring, that. Oh, <laughs> that definitely be broken then. Um, I might, oh, I'll tell you what I might do in a minute. Right, that's all knotted up and I don't even know. What is it next? Oh, maybe I'll untangle it. And maybe I'll untangle that later. Um, some of them are just tangled, and I just thought, no, I'm not even untangling that. I just stick it in the crafters. Oh, is that a star? Oh, it's one earring. I've got to save stars for Mandy. I've got a little bag that says stars for Mandy on it. Um, I had somebody who, I think, it, yeah, is a subscriber who wants... And, oh, my God, I had so much fun. It's like I love – I have collections of curiosities that people don't normally like. But, um, yeah, and they wanted it. That's why it's just been so much fun doing these bespoke things because I can just give people what they actually want and you find out. Right, that's just oh, – it's just a layering, just a layering long necklace. Um, oh, little glass stone chips. Kind of purpley, dark purpley. Um, right, we've only got this left in here. Oh, I like this. I know, see, I know a lot of people don't like the cords either, but that's a real. I had one of these the other day and it was silver. I doubt that would be silver on a cord, but you never know. It was, yeah, it's magnetic. But I've got a big one some, lurking around somewhere, just like this, that's silver. Um, but in a layering boho beach like bundle, like uh, I saw one this morning, like 15 necklaces for £12.50 or something. That's ideal. Um, Sam can't wait for my choices to arrive. Oh, yeah, and Sam's going to do an unboxing as well. I hope you like them. Um, see, Sam really is into sparklies. And 
I, bizarrely, I think it's bizarre. I'm not into the sparklies. I like chunky plastic pebbles. Um, and so when you were saying, oh, could, could I have more sparklies? I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, you definitely can. Um, just works out really well. Right, I've got Bido Bidos. I might show you some of the bits I was putting onto Instagram. Because this is going to be, oh, this is a nice one, actually. Let's just show you this. Um, glass. See, I'm also, oh, there's another one. Is that vintage? No, it's a little lobster. It's, it's made to look vintage, isn't it? Um, I, I'm a sucker for amber tone glass. Look at that. I just think that's gorgeous. Um, so I don't know what, I don't know if do an amber, I think I just did do an amber bundle. No, I think I did them separately. Or just to stick it in with a general, no rings or anything. Ooh. The, seeing a lot of these rings where it's got things attached to it, where it goes over your hand and it's like a bracelet and a ring. And that's a sparkly one, but I bet there's some sparkles missing. Hmm. I don't know actually if I can untangle it. Might be good to go. If anybody's into rings as well, I've been doing bundles of rings on. They usually, when I sell them on eBay, somebody buys like three lots. They just take the lot. Um, oh, yes. And one sold on Instagram the other day. Uh, but on Insta, I'm doing them for like thir about 30 rings for £15 delivered. Like a total um, mix. Right, I'll have to investigate that and see if it's got anything missing. I am going to show you. God, I'm so... Um, non-attention at the moment like i start something and then like i'm off doing something else oh and i'm gonna do this now oh i'm gonna do something oh no i'm gonna do this now it's ridiculous um i'm wondering if this is yeah i will take i will untangle that nice silver beads and again i think this is probably modern necklace made to look like something from the 70s because I remember stuff like this where it was like chain and then bead, chain and then bead. Um, but like Heather was saying the other day, a lobster clasp will become vintage one of these days, won't it? Right. Yeah, modern mode to look. Again, I mean, I quite like that sort of thing. Um, on a plane... So we'll do something with it. Uh, Chris Barkley's the best. Oh, okay. Sam loved big chunky plastic and wood too. Cool. I think I've gone heavy on the sparklies on your lot. Um, but if you want another one sometime, I can do big chunky wooden plastic. Oh, see, I like those clear beads as well. They'll just go in the bead. Um, which are just selling massive bundles. Um, oh, great, bringing the customers in for Kirsten, brilliant. Right, yes, 30 minutes, I don't want to be too long. I'm going to show you a few little bits I put on the Instagram up this morning. Oh, I've got some, I'll tell you some, oh, and also, can't help but show you, it needs a clean, but this came out of a lot yesterday. Look at that Cleopatra. Oh, yeah, I think that was... That's a cellar, that is. Just need to clean it up. Right. What went on then? What went on this morning? So, yes, yeah, so I'm trialing a kind of, yeah, see if people want to buy things individually. <laughs> Live coaching, so I'm that usually. Brilliant. Um, these polished stones, well, semi-precious stones, is that a... Mm. Agate. <laughs> I've listed it as polished stones, and I have listed that. So this is like a 60s job, isn't it? I've listed that at £4 delivered in the UK on my Instagram, and that's the kind of level I'm going to go at, I think. So that went on this morning. Um, and... 
Oh, this is probably the favourite thing I put on this morning. Actually, I do like that. Oh, God. No one's dying up there. Some of these um, green stone chip. So there's a brooch. And... Do you know what time the walk's going to be tomorrow? Uh, no, but I can check later. Okay. Um, some clip-on, some almost, you know, kind of matching clip-on stone chip earrings. I don't know if these are our gate. I've just listed it as green stone chip in case. Um, and I've put that on for eight pounds delivered i believe in the uk i think they're gorge it's definitely a message me on instagram cool um three i've done three brooches i think i did these at 10 and delivered i think these might be check no not yeah it might be check that kind of check painted. I didn't list it as that. I've just listed it as vintage in case. Um, Lex will know. I'm not sure about that one, but this one definitely looks like painted check to me, kind of mid-century. This you can see where the painting's coming off. Um, Would you think that's check, Lex? Nice big ones. And then, so I put that and that with, I think I said tenor delivered, with this one, which is just a gold tone swirl. It does have numbers on the back. It doesn't have an A, but it made me think it might be Sphinx because they sometimes didn't put, they don't always put Sphinx. Sometimes they just put some numbers I can't read it properly, but that's got some numbers on the back, so it might be Sphinx. But again, I didn't list it as that, just in case. Um, I'll see you later, Karen. Oh, no, not, not check. Right, good. I haven't listed it as that either. Covering old bases. And I did some clip-ons. These are lush. So, yeah, I really like those. Clip on pearlies. Um, what did I put these on? At? 10 delivered as well, I think. Those little, oh, I wonder if I can do the eyes again. Oh, can't see to do them. Anyway, clip on pearls and more 80s style ones. I think 80s style ones. There. All the goodies. Well, so I, will put, I just put some 80s button clip-ons on. Three of those. Black ones. I think that was a tenner. Oh, these are nice ones. Got an enamel one in here. I love this kind of button as well. Like sparkly confetti. One. These enamel ones. Very Art Deco style. Lovelo, and they have been teamed up with those and gold swirlers. It's got the little padding thing on the back, yeah. So, oh, these were part of a lot which I'm splitting up now. I'll just show you these because these are fabulous clip ons, too. Of course, Lex would suit all of these, those. I think are lovely. They're like metal. Really nice. Is that the way I listed this morning? I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, coming up to 45 minutes, that'll do, won't it? It's, um, is there anything? oh, I'll show you one other thing I want to show you, actually. I got this massive chunky bead. necklace which I don't know if these get faked look at that too big for me but it's um is it Ralph Lauren or something no Emporio Armani now so it's either something which 
you know, you you know, sometimes you like buy perfume at the airport or something, and they've got some deal on, and you get like a free necklace or bag with it if you buy some nice perfume. It's either that kind of thing, and it's not very valuable, or it's valuable and it gets faked. But I've never seen an Emporio Armani necklace, but I feel like it's the sort of thing that you might get as part of a buy. I bought perfume and I got this with it. Um, so I need to look into that. Ooh. There we go. Um, yeah, they are huge. I mean, they're saleable or whatever, even if, if it was that they might be faked, I'd just take this tag off and just sell them as, you know, lovely, they're like um, disco balls, aren't they? Just lovely chunky beans. Um, so I need to look into that. Ooh, ooh. Right, that'll do it, I think, for now. Christine, I like this video. Yeah, same. I, I need somebody, you know, I mean, this sounds ridiculous, but you know how you get petite clothing? So I need petite clothing or sometimes I buy kids' clothing. Um, that's some stuff. This is normal, but it's, I like things big as well. Sometimes I feel like I need somebody to make me stuff in petite, like so it doesn't look ridiculous on me. Um, chunky. Uh, right, well, I'm going to go now, Karen, anyway. Uh, thank you, 64 people, for joining me on this lovely about-to-be thunderstorm Saturday morning. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Can you hear them? I think Tom's gone on his walk. Um, I think I've no idea. Well, no, I have. I've upset him, apparently, because he's got... He's having online physio. And he got up from the desk earlier like this. I was like, can you stop doing that? Like, I can't I can't be, you know, from the age of 43 to 90, be living with somebody who's going to walk like an old man. Can you just, like, get a grip? He's gone off in a mood about it. So, well, what did you expect? Like, um, lovely to have a chili fix. Thanks, Bad Wolf. Oh, I've been missing you. Petite jewellery and you mentioned it. Petite, small room. We're going to Rose's house because I left my tablet there. Did you do that on purpose? No. <laughs> Did you say we? You're Maud. Oh, cool. Are you going to help with the chickens or something? No, we're going Take to... Take your Mac, Maud. I think it's about to rain. We're going to get the tablet. Okay. Um, are they the in because they're going the to the bike? Yeah, they're in. They're leaving at 12.30. Okay. All right. See you soon. Um, um yeah no seriously andrea like who who's like my kind um indy would know cause i think she's my afraid like when i was pregnant i loved it because i wore different jewelry because it looked right on me but whereas i'd look like you know like i've fallen in my mum's dressing up um and also sort of like watching your youtubes oh thank you you're so funny. <laughs> I know, no, I'm serious. Often when I'm being sincere, people don't, they think either I'm being sarcastic or I'm being funny. I'm serious. Um, oh, wet washing. Right, okay. Bye-bye, don't die. I've, I'm sure at least once. Bye-bye, don't die. At least once a week i'll be doing some kind of unboxing but i'm gonna be hanging out on the gram oh. most days so come and catch me on there shellster h with shellsterini underscore jewelry see you soon bye bye Enjoy.